This is an example of one of the balloons that's out there today. It's um, an excellent balloon. Um, it, it allows the surgeon to access the sinuses, and as, we, as you recall, as we talked in the past, we have paired sinuses in our face. We have cheek sinuses or maxillary sinuses. Uh, we have ethmoid sinuses between the eyes, frontal sinuses over our brow, and then way back in the back, we have sphenoid sinuses. This balloon's designed to access the maxillary, the frontal, and the sphenoid sinuses. It doesn't work for the ethmoid sinus patient, and that's sometimes where we have to resort to a traditional operation in the operating room. Uh, this, this device has special tips that are designed and angled so that we can access the maxillary sinus in this one. It has a curve so that it goes in the nose, it curves around and can get into the cheek sinus opening. So there's an opening there from the cheek sinuses is what you're trying to get to. Now, it doesn't look like a balloon to me. We'll get there in a minute. <laughs> so there's a frontal sinus opening. This is angled so that it goes up and can point towards the frontal sinus. And then we have one uh, for the sphenoid sinus, which is straight back the nose about seven or eight centimeters. And it allows us to guide the balloon into that area where we want to dilate the opening. When you've got a patient in the office and you're looking for either the maxillary or the sphenoid uh, sinus or the frontal sinus. Is it easy to see uh, after you've seen a few? Uh, do you have to search around and find them? Uh, when I've looked before, it's, it's more difficult for me because I don't do that every day. How hard is it to find the maxillary sinus? I think in the hands of a board certified, well-trained ear, nose and throat uh, physician, it's not hard. You know, we this is sort of uh, We've done traditional operations for years, and so we know where the anatomy is, and this is an extension of the knowledge that we have of the, the way the sinuses are built. And so using that knowledge and using our experience and using the CT scan, you know exactly where to place the balloon. And this, this device is really neat. It has a, uh, a little guide wire that's actually attached to a fiber optic light, and you can pass the wire out the tip and it allows you to probe, it's a very soft wire, so it can't make a, a pass in below the mucous membrane of the sinus. It'll find its way and sneak into the opening, if you will. Uh, and then once we're in there, the light on the end allows us to see that we're in the sinus cavity. It trans illuminates. You'll see a bright red outline of where the sinus is, confirming you're in the right place. And then you simply pass the balloon over the wire into the sinus cavity. So this is going to be the balloon right here? That's correct. It's now... It's you, deflated. It's deflated. And this. And you're in the sinus, and you're going to find the sinus passageway, the opening. You've already done that. Uh, and then you're going to do what? And then you inflate the balloon with this device. And it, it, this is what your assistant does, so it's kind of hard to do with my one hand, but <laughs> let me hold this. But if you do that, then you simply inflate the balloon and, and you'll see. The balloon's see, right here. Yep, and you can see the balloon inflating right yeah. now. And it inflates to we, what we know is the appropriate pressure to remodel the sinus. That's a six millimeter uh, diameter balloon, which is sized so that if we create that passage, we know that remodeling that opening in the maxillary sinus, it will stay open and provide good drainage and ventilation and will break the cycle of recurring infection or chronic infection for people that have maxillary sinus infections. 